Right. The screen is yours. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, and together with me, there is uh, Alexandra Kczerzyn and Iwona Kotlarska, who are also part of the team. Um, as for me, my name is Marek Masak, and I'm a first year student at the University of Warsaw. I am majoring in computer science and minoring in cognitive sciences. And I've been a team member since this August. Hi, I'm Alexandra Kczerzyn. I study computer science at University of Warsaw and I've been part of the team for almost a year. And as soon as uh, Ivona joins us, we might uh, just introduce her. Uh, she is um, a third year uh, computer science and mathematics student at the University of Warsaw. Uh, our, this is our team. Our team has recently had its third year anniversary we are a group of students of the University of Warsaw as well as the Un Warsaw University of Technology. Uh, the one thing that we all have in common is that none of us holds a bachelor degree as the rules of the competitions that we are about to describe limit our degree level. Uh, we are an interdisciplinary group of students as we don't only study computer science, but also mathematics, physics, cognitive sciences, and so on and so forth. Um, we operate with the enormous support from the Interdisciplinary Center of Mathematical and Computation Computational Modeling of the University of Warsaw. In the picture, we can see the current uh, members of the team, as well as one of the specialists from BICM, Mr. Uh, Marcin Semenyuk, uh, right here, um, who is a great support uh, in our preparations for the competitions. Uh, and in the middle, uh, I, in here, there is our team's captain. Right, so uh, throughout the year, there are three major student cluster competitions, uh, ASC, which uh, happens in China, uh, ISC, which happens in Germany, and uh, a student cluster competition during the Supercomputing SC Conference, which happens in the United States. Um, and we would like to underline that Warsaw team participated in the final rounds of all three competitions. Right, so moving on to the competition itself, um, there are two parts of the competition to the competition. So the first one is the cluster part. So we have to build our own cluster, um, run benchmarks, and thanks to the support of our sponsors, we are, able, we are able to complete all the necessary parts to build the competition clusters uh, from GPU accelerators through CPUs and even sometimes rack cabinets. Uh, we even once received the Vector Engine. We combine all the parts and install the necessary software, such as EOS, Slurm, MPIs, compilers, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then moving on, there is the application part. Um, real scientists re pick real and significant state-of-the-art problems for the teams to run, as we will further show by examples. The team's cluster uh, power consumption cannot exceed three kilowatts. Uh, the goal is usually to obtain the shortest time of the execution uh, or to run as many workloads as possible. However, as seen in the reproducibility challenge, which we will further describe, uh, it is not always the case. We need to prepare for the competition by finding the best parameters of parallel execution. But, but through that, we mean, for instance, finding the optimal MPI implementation, the best working version of the compilers. Uh, yeah, just things like that. Uh, the tasks include, for instance, deep learning task, uh, so some uh, artificial intelligence workloads, uh, and we also get to use utilize the cloud infrastructure. Okay, so how do we prepare for the conditions? Well, um, under the direct supervision of the specialist for, of the ICM U University of Warsaw. Uh, Mr. Maciej, Marcin Semenyuk and Maciej Spindler, the team holds weekly meetings. Uh, Mr. Semenyuk helps us uh, in the hardware part of things, whereas M Mr. Spindler uh, helps us on the software part of the uh, competition. So basically it is kind of uh, split into two. And well, the team is divided into two divisions. It's not an official distinction, but it, it so happens. Uh, there is the hardware and administration, uh, systems hardware and administration division and competition applications division, where, wh who, which holds weekly meetings to just work on the applications and uh, on the hardware side. And now we will say a few words about previous competitions. 
Asia Student Supercomputing Challenge. From about 300 teams, 20 were chosen for the finals. Each one of them got the first prize. And here on the picture, we can see the board that during the competition showed how much power each team used at the moment. The applications were two benchmarks, uh, which were HPL and HPCG. They checked how optimal the chosen, how optimal is the chosen architecture. Uh, moreover, ASC is the only competition that has a, a group competition. Teams are married to cooperate with each other when solving the chosen problem, which last year was fluidity, computational fluid dynamics. Uh, the other applications were SES, numerical simulation of the Earth system, WTDPG2, phase super resolution, single image super resolution challenge, and SHENG-BT, which was the mystery application. At ASC, Inspore is the main sponsor. Uh, and because of that, um, since each team gets uh, the same servers, this is the first competition. Uh, teams just say how many they want based on their power calculations. Each team can bring their own accelerators if they are available on the market during the competition. That year, NVIDIA provided up to four GPUs, cars per team, for those who wanted them. Our cluster consisted of four nodes of Inspur servers. Each node had two Intel Xeon Gold Z CPUs and Infinibed uh, Melanox HCA card. Moreover, in one node, we had four NVIDIA V100 GPUs. To provide InfiniBand connection for the cluster, we had FDR InfiniBand switch. The next competition happens during the International Supercomputing Conference. Four team teams are selected for the finals, including first and second team from ASC. The actual competition takes three days. First one is about running benchmarks. Uh, second and third uh, are applications. There were two usual benchmarks, HPL and HPCG, and also HPCC, which is a compilation of seven benchmarks, including HPL, DGMM, uh, and Stream. We placed third in Stream, which is a simple synthetic benchmark program that measures sustainable memory bandwidth and the corresponding computation rate for simple vector kernel. The other applications were OpenFOAM, which is computational fluid dynamics, CP2K, which is quantum chemistry and solid state physics, Pennant, which, is, which was a mystery application, and SWIFT, which was hydrodynamics and gravity. And in that one, we got seven, uh, fifth place. Uh, there was also machine learning task that was deep learning for climate analytics. For that, we pre-trained our model on V100 GPUs at ICM computing facilities, which we further utilized during the competition. At the last minute, three weeks before the actual competition, our architect architecture changed. We got two nodes of NEC SX Aurora Tsubasa A308. Each node consisted of six vector engines, two Intel Xeon Gold CPUs, two Western Digit Digital SAS SSDs. The cluster had InfiniBand connection. And with the Infini InfiniBand connection on next, we had some problems, but thanks to uh, constant uh, support from Eric Vogt, we managed to run HPL and HPCC on two nodes. Um, and the last competition is SC, so the one that happens during the uh, SC conference in the United States. Um, there are 20 teams chosen to participate, um, and this is the only competition that is in the form of a 48-hour hackathon uh, compared to where regular, like, eight-hour-a-day competitions. Um, 
during SC, we were actually supposed to uh, run applications for 48 hours straight. Um, here's a small comparison of different teams' architectures. So most team had like uh, Xeon CPUs, about four nodes, etc. During the competition, there were uh, three benchmarks. HPL and HPCG, which are pretty standard, but there was also IO500 introduced. Um, this is a benchmark for monitoring um, file system, and it was introduced this year. It was actually pretty interesting because we found uh, a bug in MuseFS while running that benchmark. Uh, there was also VPIC application reproducibility um, SSD and a mystery application. Um, the first one, uh, sorry, uh, our cluster, we had five nodes. Two of them had NVIDIA Teslas. So we had a total of eight uh, NVIDIA Teslas. We had uh, a total of 10 Intel Xeon processors. We also had an InfiniBand and a Gigabit Ethernet switch. We had a pretty good um, monitoring system for our power usage. Uh, we went over the limit twice during the application phase, but we managed to keep our power consumption just under three kilowatts, as you can see on the picture. For most of the time, we were on those like 2.98 kilowatts, uh, which is pretty good. Then the, uh, when it comes to applications, the first one was VPIC. Um, it was written in Los Alamos National Laboratory, uh, aiming to perform laser plasma interaction simulations. Um, and the original code was running on CPU only. As a part of our preparations for the competition, we ported it to CUDA to run it on GPU. And we achieved first place exequo with another team. Great, and another task was the reproducibility challenge. And as I have already mentioned, it is very different to all other tasks because its aim is not to optimize uh, the code. Uh, there was no GPU support. So we couldn't run it in the cloud. But the only objective was to reproduce uh, real scientific outcomes of a research paper. This year, uh, we had to reproduce uh, the strong and weak scaling of a code written by, among others, uh, Jia Shi. Uh, and the, uh, the paper, the scientific paper that we were reproducing was uh, a paper on uh, calculating normal modes uh, of a general planet. Uh, we had to perform strong scaling study, weak scaling study, uh, and then write a report uh, in a similar form or rather in a, a identical form to a scientific paper. Um, the next task was structural simulation toolkit. It was a, a toolkit for simulating a, an HPC infrastructure. The goal was to design multiple systems with different budgets. We were just giving some budget, uh, some parts, and we had to create a optimal uh, combination of those. Right, and uh, here you can see all of the team members uh, during the SC19 competition. Uh, the competitions themselves are not only uh, to basically introduce uh, young people to uh, the world of HPC, but also to connect them with uh, people who have similar interests in the HPC, just to create a new kind of HPC community. And uh, what's next? Well, uh, the next competition that uh, will occur is the ASC, ASC 20. Unfortunately, uh, during, uh, due to the current uh, situation, it has been postponed till further notice. Uh, we do not know anything about ISC and SC uh, being postponed, so uh, we keep our fingers crossed. But uh, for now, uh, they will happen this year without any struggle. Um, and the interesting thing about SC20 is that the power cut will be moved from three kilowatts to six kilowatts. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Warsaw team. Of course, we are very proud at RCM uh, to have a cracked team of students like that and uh, to be able to 
work with you.